Notwithstanding the prevailing idea that for a successful encounter with a dragon it requires some saintliness of character on the part of the challenger, there is a Herefordshire legend of a dragon which once infested Mordiford on the Lug being slain after a furious combat by a condemned malefactor. It must not be overlooked that dragon lore in its religious associations carries us back beyond the Christian dispensation as the title and subject of one of the apocryphal books remind us. The book of Bell and the Dragon is really an addition to the book of Daniel. The dragon has been associated with the history of many saints but with the story of only one prophet. Briefly, the story is this. The image of Bell was one of the objects of worship set up in Babylon and the royal edict ordering the people to bow down to it was disobeyed by the prophet Daniel. The king expostulated with the man of God pointing out in proof of the deific nature of the idol the amount of food it consumed. Daniel replied by asking permission to arrange a test. The food was prepared for the idol and the doors of its temple were locked and sealed. But Daniel, suspecting trickery on the part of the priests, had also secretly strewn the floor very lightly with fine ashes. Next morning, the seals were found unbroken and the food gone. Examination, however, disclosed the marks of naked feet on the floor. So the priests were convicted and put to death. There was also in Babylon a great dragon which was universally worshipped and regarded as divine. To this, Daniel not only refused to bow the knee, but offered to kill the beast. Upon obtaining the king's permission to make the attempt, the prophet prepared a concoction largely composed of pitch and threw it to the dragon. As a result, the dragon burst asunder. The infuriated people demanded that Daniel should be thrown to the lions. But, as we read, under divine protection, he remained in the den of the savage beasts quite unharmed. The story is full of palpable errors and extravagances and has not been accepted as an inspired scripture. It was probably written in the first century before Christ. Something very similar to the Bell and Dragon story has been found in Arab legends with Alexander the Great for the hero.